made up a lot different. You know, it's all the They can take most of that. Also come down and snatch that in, play your chest. Play your chest, you're all the battery. I don't know. I've seen a lot of states very off and never seen an actual foot. I mean, first I can't see it. I'm not going to tell you. Look at that, bud. What? See that, Maddie? Lemon back. So, like we said, we get him out, we inspect the snake, he looks pretty healthy. Um, it's a yellow face timber. Pretty much we know it's a male right off the bat without counting because females don't get this big. This is, I mean, just guessing at it, we know he's probably at least 46, 47 inches long. Um, but the first thing we do is get down here and we start counting some power scales. Right here, we're the skill on the base of the route. Okay, 22. 21 or more is a male, 20 or less is a female. Now, for our little contest, we count the rattles. We have three rattles on there. You can look on there and I say B4 or 5. We never count the solid one at the bottom because he has to shed his skin to get that one. It has to be a loose segment. And this little bump at the top is actually the same rattle. Each rattle has three little bumps on it. And they're interlocking with each other. It'll have little pine trees growing up inside each other. That's what makes it work. Nope, they're the same species. It's just a different color. Fixing their skin and making them a different color. Yeah, they got a mark on them. This is your day. Looks like a bow tie. We're an hourglass moment over the back. There's tons of water, there's tons of brown, brown water snakes in Pennsylvania that are killed every year because of being, being brown and cold. Oh. Like as a southern, like if you look at this snake here, I think you have. That one is gone. What is it? A southern what? A copper, southern copperhead. Isn't it? This is milk snake. These guys are killed every day of the year. Because everybody thinks it's brown, it's a, it's a deadly copper. So that's, it's just a milk snake. It's a corn snake, our corn snake here in Pennsylvania. This is a pretty nice size one. It has oval blotches on the back. They're not connected to the sides. It doesn't look anything like an hourglass melted over its back. 
They vary in color a little bit. They'll have a little orange in them, a little red in them. Okay. But the hourglass shapes you see here or a bow tie is what you're looking for. And you don't have to get too close. You can see the patterns run up onto the head of the copper or the, the milk snake, but there's no markings on the head of the copper head. It's another thing. But you got to get too close to see that kind of stuff. But just to glance at them, look at the dark markings on the copper head. And it's an hourglass shape, or I like saying hourglass. Them ones come in the ha people that collect the drow snakes, they bring those ones in too? Yeah. They were caught right from around here? Yeah. Where do you find them at compared to rattlesnakes? Sometimes you find them in the exact same spots. Uh, we found them in the same denning areas, these places. Um, but uh, sometimes railroad tracks are good spots, you find them all the time. Um, all depends what's part of the state in. There's a couple parts of the state we hunt them in old um, sawmills, old sawdust piles. But, you know, I'm not going to say snakes are any certain spot. I always say snakes are where you find them. So, that sounds a little ignorant, but that's about what it is. Snakes are where you find them. <laughs> You'll find copper red gravel snakes, rat snakes, garter snakes, netting in the same den area sometimes. They'll be laying together, asking together to pick them out. I've been measuring. I've been measuring a lot of snakes in these snake hunts since like '86, and the longest one I ever measured was 42 inches long. So, they have the same kind of venom as uh, the rattlesnakes have. It's a hematoxin venom. Uh, rule of thumb. The way I always see it, uh, I've been bit by both of them, and uh, the copperhead bites I've had hasn't been near as bad as the rattlesnake bites I've had. Um, you won't see that in our timber rattlesnakes here in Pennsylvania. Patterns are the same. Timber rattlesnake looks like bark on a tree when they get the name timber rattlesnake. Their tails sometimes are a little different. Sometimes they don't have the solid black tail like our timbers do up here. Everything else is the same, same species. They don't really recognize different species anymore. They used to, but they don't anymore. Tan bed drift down the middle section of the body. This guy eats pretty good. He's pretty fat. He eats jumbo rats. Like decent, like 